Hello, good evening, and welcome to New Bremen High School. We're tonight on WOSN. We've got a fantastic volleyball match between the number one ranked New Bremen Cardinals and the number two ranked Fort Loramie Redskins. I'm Garrett Seawright, joined alongside Mark Schein, bringing all the action courtside here from the nest. And it doesn't really get much bigger than this in a regular season, Mark. Well, we got 11 and 2 New Bremen, 11 and or 14 and 2 Fort Laramie, and we are having a great match. You mentioned number one and number two. I think one of the interesting things to look at is this is a New Bremen team coming off a loss in uh, athletic Midwest Athletic Conference play on the Thursday night. That was a four-set loss to St. Henry, and I'm curious how they will respond with a day's practice and now a chance to come out and play. And if you look at the Fort Laramie, there are two losses to St. Henry. <laughs> right. So, you know, the three of the four losses for these two teams have come to the St. Henry Redskins, and I'm interested to see how this match plays out. Well, and you take a look, it's a big week for New Bremen. They played Marion Local on yes. Tuesday night, St. Henry on Thursday night, Fort Laramie on Saturday morning. It's been a uh, quite the banner week of really good volleyball teams that have been on the schedule this week. The first swing from Avery Brandaway on the serve. Melina Schrader pops for Dammeyer. It's blocked as Amelia Dammeyer took the swing. Jousted to that one by the Cardinals. Tipped over by Amelia Dammeyer. Jenna Barhorse tries to find a spot on the floor. Pushed it wide. And the first point of the match goes to New Bremen. That is something we will see a lot of, Garrett. Both setters, Jenna Barnhorst for Fort Laramie. Melina Schrader for New Bremen. Both play the net very well as offensive players, not just setters. The first serve by New Bremen's Melina Schrader. Rolled over by the Redskins. Schrader, the back set to Olivia Heitkamp for the kill. Makes it 2-0 Cardinals early. Olivia has 158 kills to lead this team, going to the University of Toledo when her senior year ends. Schrader, lollipops to the middle of the floor, diving, blocked at the net by Trentman. Cardinals keep it alive. High camp, another swing kept alive by ha Hallie Grillo. The Libero. Fort Lormy can't quite keep that one up and over, and it's a 3 0 advantage. Coming right out of the shoot, they're going to go right to Olivia Heitkamp. Coming off a loss, you go to your senior and now let her make some plays. Good strategy there. Yes. Schrader, the knuckleball into the back corner. Barhorst sets up Summer Hoying, dug out by the Cardinals. Schrader gets over to Amelia Dammeyer, kept alive by the Redskins, rolled over. Steininger, Schrader, Heitkamp finds the floor. Got a really nice pass and a good set from Melina Schrader. She's got three kills out of four points. Schrader continues to serve. Got it just over the top of the tape for the ace. The 38th ace of the season. And an early timeout taken by the Fort Laurie Redskins. We'll step aside as well. 5-0 Cardinals on WOSN. Today's school board sponsor, Reese Meyer and Company CBAs, helping small businesses navigate their financial futures. An early 5-0 run for the new Bremen Cardinals to get tonight's this afternoon. Is it even this afternoon? No, it's still this morning's <laughs> matchup started. Melina Schrader serves. Summer Hoying, the swing. Wide, but it's tipped for the point. Redskins get on the Reese Meyer and Company school board for the first time. 178 kills and 45 sets for Summer Hoying. Victoria Mesher the serve. Schrader looks to set up high camp off the block, dug out by Brandewee. Barhorst, quick set, tipped over. Skyler Alberts left it just wide. She had an open angle and just missed it, pushed it a little bit far. And that'll bring up Amelia Nambeyer, the senior. We'll serve it away. Put just a little bit too much sauce on it. Makes it 6-2 after the 5-0 run to start to set my new Bremen. Here's Jenna Barhorst to serve now, and then she will be the setter from the back row. Sends it to the back row to Steininger. High camp to swing, blocked at the net. Skyler Albers, Summer Hoying combined for the block. Makes it 6-3. 
those hands turned inward, so the ball comes back to the middle of the floor, not out of bounds. Barhorse puts it in a great spot. High camp is set from the middle, puts it straight to the wood. Not a whole lot you can do about that. <laughs> well, you're pounding the ball straight down, and it's ended up near the 10-foot line. Not a lot going on. You're climbing the ladder. You get on top of the ball. And Stoninger will go to the far corner to serve for New Bremen. Brings it to the near corner for the ace. The 31st of the year. So much for wondering how New Bremen would come out uh, after that yep. loss. Uh, they have come out motivated, and they are playing very well early on here. Steininger pushed it just wide. That high-risk, high reward. Mm -hmm. Just left it to this near sideline. And now Summer Hoying leads the Redskins with kills. Serves. Swing and a kill. So that ball came up here, Garrett, and it almost, it almost got my coffee. And that, that, <laughs> we, if we're in the third row and you're getting my coffee, that's not a good thing. you got to protect the, got to protect Mark Shine's coffee that's here. That's correct. This match would be over real quick if that coffee got spilled. <laughs> there would be a scene as Barhorst sets up Brandwe, cuts it down the far side and play. drops it to the floor. New Bremen brought the entire defense to this side. Brandwe just tips it over and down on the other side. Find that open spot on the left side of the defense. Now Skyler Albers serves. Pushed it just long. Nearly got the back line instead. It drops long. And April Baker will now serve as New Bremen still leads by that five-point advantage. They started out on that five-nothing run. 10-5 on the Reese Myring scoreboard. Point, a long pass. Rolled over by Barhorst. Dug out by Baker. Schrader, cross-court pass. Dan Meyer kept the line by the Redskins. Point over free ball and over. From the back row, kept alive one more time. Brandewe to cut off the side of the block. Cardinals keep it alive. Dan Meyer dug out by the libero. Climb the ladder, blocked, kept alive by Fort Lormy. Tipped over by Brandewe. What a point we got going here. Schrader, long pass on the far side and got it inside the line for Olivia Heitkamp. I beg your pardon, is that Dan Meyer? There's Dan Meyer, Dan yeah, Meyer on the far side. Amelia Dammeyer, the kill, makes it 11-5. Tremendous point that time, both teams. Great effort by both sides as that serve hits the top of the tape. Tipped over to Ellen Frilling, blocked, sent right back to her. Brandewey rolls it over. Schrader, quick set in the middle. Baker, or Mary Rindler, the kill from the middle. Got it off the block. I've got one of our officials, our up man, uh, Matt Steinberger, is kind of in my way at the net. I have trouble <laughs> picking out who does what sometimes at the net, but I think that was Mary Rindler. Our other official today is Andre Howard on the floor. Barhorse the quick set to Mesher, blocked. She'll back set this time to Frilling, left it long, and the point goes to the Cardinals. And you're right, just the vantage point, you got to kind of tuck around to see. Yep. And that's just our vantage point, it's not in a wonderful facility, Garrett. Yes, sir. This place for volleyball, basketball, it is a wonderful facility, as all the facilities are at New Bremen. Swung on by Frilling, off of Cardinal and down. Ellen Frilling, the senior, with the kill, makes it 13-6. And now Julian Geyer would drop back to serve. Punches the first one away. Schrader cross court pass. Dammeyer climbs the ladder for the kill. Her 93rd of the season. Here comes Ava Trentman in to play the front row, and we saw her in the cold water a couple of weeks ago, Garrett. She is really, really improving as the yes. season goes along, making quite a difference for this program. You can quick set somebody in the middle like that. She's got a great ability to. Jump as Barhorse tried to tip it over, and Trentman was there to block it. Grillo, the pass to Brandewey, dug out by the Cardinals. They'll take a swing at it. Melina Schrader. And Melina Schrader 
has the ability to play yeah. above the net that you don't expect from a setter, especially that well, size. And that's exactly right. And that's what both teams really use their, their setters when in the front row to be kill players as well. Great serve by New Bremen. The slide blocked. As Mesher took the cut at it, Brandewey takes some off of it. Dug out by Dan Meyer. Straighter Sent again. Straight over by Molina Schrader. Grillo, the pass. Brandewey has to settle for just getting it over. Quick set, Trentman dug out in the back row. Brandewey one more time, blocked into the floor. Molina Schrader. That's someone who's playing with some motivation. Here's another timeout. 16-6 the score. New Bremen a 10-point advantage. We'll step aside, come back with more first set action here on WOSM. New Bremen with a 16-6 lead over the Fort Laramie Redskins here in set number one. Garrett, there is nobody better than Scott Fry on the PA here at New Bremen. He is the Agreed. music champion. I was surprised by the Beatles here in the, the timeout. Just got it over the top of the tape. Did Sarah Dwanger swing from Fort Laramie, blocked at the net. Summer Hoyne from behind a 10-foot long. Heitkamp the attack, dug out and returned. Kept it inside the lines. Schrader took the swing at it, and Brandewey gives her the old blockaroni and cheese for the Fort Laramie point. I think Schrader thought she had timed that up yeah. perfectly. It's going to catch Fort Laramie napping. Brandewey said, I don't think so. I can't pushes it over. Far horse, cross court pass to Hoyne off the block. Kept alive by the Cardinals. And the point to Fort Laramie. Summer Hoyne's second kill. Good service right there by Avery Brandway. Kind of put New Bremen on her heels a bit. Brandway serves again. Knight camp to receive. Back set to Trentman. Blocked by Summer Hoyne. Cardinals chase. Get it between the lines. Grillo. Barhorst. Hoyne takes some off of it for the point. One of those, Garrett, you expect the fastball, and she takes a little bit off of it, use more fingertip action, and push the ball to the open spot of the floor. 16-9. The advantage for New Bremen on the Reese Meyer and company scoreboard. Cross court, Dan Meyer tried to take some off of it, mistimed it just a bit. Yeah. Yeah. Approach wasn't typical for Amelia. Her, her steps weren't quite uh, as, as precise as they usually are. Four strength points for Fort Lormy. Caught the lead of six. Dan Meyer that time yeah. in the back row. Her steps were right that time. Barhorse toying off the top of the block. Schrader back sets Trentman. Got it up and over the block. As Brandaway from behind the 10 foot line rolls it off the top of the tape and down. Five she's she's the server, uh, Garrett, so she has to make that contact from behind the 10 foot line. and. Got to roll in a perfect spot. Good run this time by the Redskins. Out of the timeout. Put it in a great spot. Dan Meyer receives. High camp from behind the 10-foot line. Tipped over. Kept alive by the Cardinals. Into the back row. Barhorst. Cross-court pass. Hoyne off the block. And down. Here's Fort Laramie going to their senior summer hoeing in the front row, and now the Cardinals have to take a timeout. 16-12 the score. Fort Laramie on a run here on WOSN. Tonight's scoreboard sponsor, Reese Meyer and Company CPAs, helping small businesses navigate their financial futures. Six straight points out of the timeout for Fort Laramie, and then Bremen takes their first time out of the match. Yeah, Coach Kramer really has a, a game face on today. Not, not that she's a lackadaisical type person on the sideline anyway, but today seems different. There's an ace coming out of the timeout. Uh, not what she wanted to see. Nope. It's Avery Brandley started serving when it was 16-6, and it's now 16-13. Fort Laramie's climbed all the way back. Yeah, Avery's uh, 24th ace of the season. Schrader, high camp, had to attack the mile at 10-foot line. Barhorse, quick sets, Metzger, blocked. 
and New Bremen stops the bleeding. Not sure whether it was Tra Trapman or, or Dammeyer, they were both there. Nonetheless, it's the first time New Bremen's grown the lead in a long time. Make it 17-13 as Schrader the serve and the ace. The second one of the match. Just like that, New Bremen's grown the lead back out to five as the junior committed to the University of Dayton continues to serve. A laser just a little long. Yeah, Jared, I pulled up today. I was walking in the building, and a car pulled up with University of Dayton license plates. I bet I know whose family that is. <laughs> Got a lot to be excited about. Just a junior. That serve into the back corner. Looking for height camp. Might have put a little too much sauce on it, but it was right at measure. As Hoyne swing blocked by Trentman and Heitkamp. So then Bremen now got that lead back out to five. So we hit the closing stages of set number one here in this number two versus number one matchup. Dan Meyer the serve, received by Grillo. Barhorse tries to tip it over. Heitkamp took some off of it, dropped it to the wood, and a lead six. Olivia's got five kills here in the opening set. Olivia Dammeyer comes off the floor. By April Baker, steps on the floor for the Bremen. As Amelia Dammeyer sends it away. Barhorst, cross-court pass to Summer Hoying, dug out by Kira Steininger. Barhorst tries to dump it into campfire. Steininger's there. Schrader, height camp, wow. down. Olivia Heitkamp, another kill in this first set. She's gotten a lot of them from the right corner today, too. 21-14. Dan Meyer sidewinding serve. Grillo, Hoying gets it over. Schrader, back set, Heitkamp, dug out. Barhorst, a quick set to Skylar Albers. Summer Hoying takes a cut at it, blocked into the wood. Give that one to Olivia Heitkamp. She has patrolled the net extremely well here in the opening set. In this race to 25, New Bremen three points away. Dan Meyer, lollipops in the middle of the floor. Bar horse to Hoing, dug out by Dan Meyer. Schrader, the pass. Baker takes a cut at it, dug out. Point to swing, off the block and down. What a set that time. The pass was not as good as some of the passes we've seen from Fort Laramie on the diving attempt, but then a really nice pass that time from Barhorse set that kill up. 22-15 on the Reese Meyer and Company scoreboard. Barhorst punches it away. Stoning the receive. Schrader looking for high camp in the center of the floor, and nothing you can do about it. Another big kill by the senior to the future Toledo Rocket. Seven kills for her in the opening set to go with a block for a point. Steininger, the libero for New Bremen, back on to serve. Just pushed it long. Fourth miss serve for New Bremen in the opening set. They have three aces. They can be at that one-to-one -one ratio. They're all right with it. Because that went just over the top of the tape. A diving save by Dan Meyer, pushed over by the Cardinals. Grillo, the pass. Hoying takes a cut to the far side. Schrader, cross-court mm. pass, tipped over by Baker, and she's crossed the net. Just the... Long, long set that time. It's a long pass that you got to try to go get. Momentum's going to carry you. The 23-17 as Hoing serve. Popped high into the air on a receive. Steininger right at her own bench. Keeps it alive. Dumped over by the Cardinals. Hoing from behind the 10-foot line. Put too much on it. Brings up set point for New Bremen. Yeah, she wasn't quite able to get on top of the ball, and that for it went long. Here's Heitkamp with a chance to serve out the set. Seven-point advantage for New Bremen here in set number one. 
received. Brandewee, the cut, blocked, kept right alive by Brandewee. And the Cardinals find the floor as Molina Schrader just sends it right over to win set number one, 25 to 17. We'll step aside, come back, have some first set snaps, and second set gaps, second set action for you when we return here on WOSN. Set number two about to get underway between the number two ranked Fort Wilmer Redskins and the number one ranked New Raymond Cardinals. And Mark, when you take a look at the first set, things went pretty well there for Olivia Heitkamp. They really did. She had seven kills out of the 13 that New Bremen had in the opening set. New Bremen missed four serves. They had three aces, two of them by Melina Schrader. On the other side, just one ace for Fort Army. That was by Avery Brandewee. They missed a serve as well. They had eight kills, half of them by Summer Hoying. Fort Loring charged back there in that second set. Had six straight points. It was 16-6 at one point. They made it 16-12. Shrunk the lead to as little as four before New Bremen extended and won 25-17. We, we know that New Bremen came out. They were they were very intense and very motivated. And now let's see if, if you know Fort Laramie can match that. They've got about, got going about halfway through the set. Let's see if Fort Laramie can get a better start to set number two than they did set number one. Yeah, they got down five nothing. Yes. They, they took a timeout. And there was a point there. I think it was 2016 or so where it been like this would have been a great time to take a timeout, but you didn't have it because you got off that just not great start. So New Bremen will send it away to start set number two as Melina Schrader holds the volleyball, awaits the signal that she can send it away. As soon as Coach Rogers saw the lineup and the way that uh, New Bremen started, he subbed before the set even began. Brought in Ella Frilling. Yeah, Ellen Frilling comes on in exchange. And the first point on set number two goes to the Cardinals. Was that Amelia Dammeyer? I think so. That was one of those. I've got the official right in my, yep, my I think view so. site. I think that's who it was. For those of you watching at home, you got a better angle than we do on that one. Schrader, the lollipop, received by Hoing, Barhorst. Back set to Ellen Frilling. Got it inside yeah. the line. Guess why Ellen was moved into the starting lineup. Listed as a middle hitter, playing on the outside there, and now taken out in exchange for Julian Geyer. She'll serve just over the top of the tape. Schrader, quick set Trentman for the kill. 74th of the season for her. Ava Trentman, just a junior. Yes. Amelia Nammeyer serves, leading 2-1. Brandon, we will serve now for Fort Loramie. Neither side lists the height of their players. There's some considerable size in today's matchup. As Olivia Dammeyer just missed time to jump a little bit. Fort Loramie. I don't know whether that was going to get over or not. Victoria Mesher was there for the block. Either way, it ended up being a point for the Redskins. That's the first Redskin lead of the day at 3 2 here in set number two. Schrader tipped it over, kept the line by Hoing. I was going to say, yeah. I thought that uh, I thought that uh, Ava Trentman had gotten away with having a foot all the way across yeah. the line, but our R2 caught it from across the way. So it's a 4 2 advantage for Fort Lormy. High camp, a kill. You know, Garrett, I'm a fan of libero play, and Kira Steiniger is one of those that's very, very talented in our area. Put it on display a couple of times today. Point the swing. You see Steiniger, the leaping dive, even to get a hand on it. But the kill to the Redskins throws that lead back out to two. 
Game is so fun to watch when you get the good pass, yeah. good set, and then put away like that one. In textbook. Just, yeah, precision. Schrader. What a set. The pass to Heitkamp, just long. To, for, for her to be able to get that ball and set it without illegally contacting, her feet were not in the proper position because the pass was a little low. But to set it that well, even though the, the shot went long, really nice play by Schrader. Schrader, the cross-court pass one more time. High camp block, keeps it alive, however. Tipped over, kept alive oh. by Fort Loramy, inside the lines. Brand Schrader, Louis. the swing to Mary Rindler, long, oh. and the point to Fort Loramy, and they lead by four. That looked like a, a sure point for New Bream until Avery Brandaway made the diving save right there. Victoria Mesher punches it away for the A's. Make it 8-3, and Diana Kramer wants a timeout. We'll step aside as well. A five-point lead for Fort Lormie here in set number two on WOSN. Tonight's scoreboard sponsor, Reese Meyer and Company CPAs, helping small businesses navigate their financial futures. Out of the timeout, New Bremen looking to right the ship here, trailing by five, eight, three. And I, it's Fort Lormie's just playing really well but here in set number two. Let's get this point in. We'll talk about the timeout. Schrader, the back set, Rindler. Tucked it inside the line for the point. I watched both coaches during the timeout, and when you get, you know, what are there, 16 girls or so on each yeah. team, and all 16 on each team are staring at the coach. You know, they're not right. grabbing towels, they're not grabbing water bottles, they're looking at the coach. You know this is a big match, and they're getting some positive instructions. Hike Camp got it just over the top of the net as Summer Hoyne takes a cut, left it long, and a point to New Bremen. And they have shrunk the lead to three. Out of the timeout as Hike Camp. Serves. Again, another laser, a little long, and that one goes to Lormy. Sixth missed serve of the match for New Bremen. Three aces. Jam Barhorse to serve. Well, back at you. So we'll trade service errors. 21 aces. Jenna Barhorst has 465 assists in 45 sets. Do, uh, obviously better right. than 10 a set. Point a swing. Blocked. Kept alive by the Cardinals. Blocked on the push attempt. Grillo. Hoing off the block. Kept alive by New Bremen as Baker tried to chase it down. And the point to Fort Loramie. That was one Olivia Heitkamp probably didn't need to play, but when you're out here, I'm going for every ball, you know. I'm you not get laser focused yes, on what right. you're doing. I'm not going to take a chance of one falling in I should have played. Point to serve. Good serve. And a good set. Nope. A double contact yep. call. That was going to be a tough play. That was, The pass was low, and she went down to try to get it in fingertip action. Get called for double contact. Pulling just too much mustard on that one. Comes the Fort Laramie football team in. They had a nice win last night over a Division II Talawanda. How about that? It's a bit of a bit of a trick. Cross court pass from Bar Horse Brandaway dug out. Schrader, back sets Heitkamp, never got over the top of the cape, and the point to Fort Lormy, the lead back to five. Same situation a little while ago. I don't know whether the ball was going to cross the net or not. Certainly Skylar Albers was there, so I'm not sure how the official scorer will read that, but it ends up being a point for the Redskins. Albers serving now. Put it in a good spot. Schrader looking for Heitkamp, took some off of it, hit the tape. <laughs> Pushed over by Brandwee, yeah. and that's a double contact. That was. Right in front of the official, too. That was a, she had an open spot she wanted to push the ball to, just didn't execute it very well. Yeah, right idea. Yes, absolutely. Eyes just got a little bit bigger than the stomach. Got and it. the serve by Melina Schrader drops 
straight to the floor inside the line. That would be correct. That thing dove when it got to the back line. No two-seam fastball from Melina Schrader. Just dropped straight to the wood. Cuts the lane to three. Barhorst, back sets Mesher, blocked. Kept alive. Heitkamp, a hardy swing and kill. And the lead's down to two. So Schrader put the ball right where she could use it. Quick set, didn't give the blockers a chance to react. Schrader, another great serve. Barhorst, point from behind the 10-foot line, dug out by Dan Meyer. Oh, Heitkamp, good play. great play at the ladder. Just to even center that ball yes. up. Just, just to keep the ball in play. And now we're going to have a little adjustment of the antenna to make sure it's uh, straight a, down the line. What is that, 90-degree angle? What is that supposed to be? I need a math guy in here. 90-degree, right? I don't – is is that how it works? Straight up and down? Well, that's 180, right? Well, straight up and down. Let's make sure it's straight up <laughs> and down. 90 is a left-hand turn, I oh, think. Well, there's an ace. And there's an ace for Geyer. And a lead goes back out to four. Told you I was a social studies <laughs> U-boat commander. This math stuff. That, uh... I had to clean the whiteboard to pass senior math, so <laughs> I'm not your guy on angles. Get extra credit to get the old diplomas. Not somebody you want here as the great back and forth point. Trentman left it <clears throat> just long. You know, how many times in this set, and obviously we're looking at the Redskins up five, how many times has uh, the Cardinals missed the back line here by just, you know, inches? Right. Another serve. There she misses the back line just by a smidge. And that brings on Amelia Damlier to serve. 15-11, Fort Lauderdale on the Reese Meyer and Company scoreboard. Barhorst chases. Ran away a long jam here on the near side by the Redskins. Kept alive by New Bremen. Steininger rolls it over. Barhorst, Brandoy blocked off the side of the block, the sidewinder, drops to the floor, and the lead's back to five. Avery's fourth kill of today. She had a block for a point, she's had an ace. Now she gets to serve. Steininger, the pass to Schrader. Heitkamp takes a swing. Kept alive by the, in, by the Redskins. Point gets it off the block and down. And the lead grows once more. Every time New Bremen tries to make a bit of a run, Fort Army has an answer. Randwick, one more serve. Heitkamp off a of red skin and down. Just sending it straight at Katie Luthman. And not really a whole lot she can do about it when it's coming with that much pace on it. Kind of stuck in no man's land, and then got to decide whether you're gonna, how you're gonna pass it. Barhorst, the pass to Horn. She gets it off the block and down. Another kill for Summer Horn. A big second set. She's got five kills in this set, four in the opening set. She's been the, the go-to person the senior has. Mesher leading by six. Schrader, the back set. Mary Rindler, what a swing. Uh, her fourth kill, they ran the slide. It was perfectly set, perfectly timed. Heitkamp to serve. That is beautiful poetry in motion on a volleyball court. Heitkamp, the serve. Barhorse chases it down. Hoing right at the 10-foot line. Played by the Cardinals. Steininger pops it over. Barhorse a quick set to Albers. Took some off of it. Schrader to Heitkamp off the block. Kept alive by the Redskins. Blocked at the net. Played. Centered up by Hoing. How about that play? And the Redskins keep yeah. it alive. Schrader will tip it over. Nobody home in the corner pocket. And a great point for New Bremen after great effort from both sides. Talked about Melina Schrader and her counterpart, Jenna Barhorst, both being able to get kills at the net. That time it was Melina Schrader. 
19-14 now the score on a Reese Meyer and Company scoreboard. As Alan Frilling comes back on the floor in exchange for Kitty Luthman. Jenna Barhorst and Melina Schrader, two of the top setters around and both juniors. The trade service errors. Fourth time in this set, fifth time overall for a service error. New Bremen's missed seven serves. And April Baker, sophomore, sends it away. Just over the top of the net. Barhorst, the back set to Frilling, blocked, kept alive by the Redskins. Hoying tries to cut it to the far side. Baker has to go chase it after Steininger kept it alive, and she'll get it back over to Fort Lormie. Barhorst, back set to Frilling for the kill. Well, first of all, good set, good kill, but also tremendous agility by the line judge. See him down in the corner <laughs> making sure he didn't collide with a New Bremen player. These people are so important, line judges, to help the officials out. Going to serve. Schrader, Baker, another kill. Or Rindler, I beg your pardon. Mary Rindler had the thunderous kill the last time. Yep. Mary's got five kills in this set. Had 77 before today. Here's Sarah Dwanger. She's kind of the, the DH server. Yes. You see why right there, the laser just over the top of the tape. Frilling the swing. Return right back to Fort Lormie. Barhorst looks for Brandewey. Blocked at the net. Trentman and Schrader close the window. 2017 the score on Reese Meyer and Company scoreboard. Sarah Dwanger has 14 aces on the season. This is her kind of her niche. Serve and play back row. Far horse to Brando. He got it over the block. Kept alive by Heitkamp. Somebody's in the net. Somebody yep. reached over the net. So the point to New Bremen has shrunk the lead to two. And a timeout will be taken by Fort Lorman. 2018 on the Reese Meyer and Company scoreboard. We'll come back with more second set action for you here on WOSN. Closing stages of set number two, Fort Lormie has led by as many as five here in this set, but New Bremen has shrunk the lead to two as Sarah Dwanger serves. Looking to shrink the lead some more. Barhorst, the pass to Brandley, got it off the block and down on New Bremen's side. Just the way Coach Rogers would like it, pass, set, kill. Coming out of a timeout and break the momentum. So Albers serves. Leading by three in a race to 25. Schrader, the pass to Dan Meyer, got it inside the back line. Her fourth kill of the day. Now Schrader will serve and set from the back row. Cardinals have a game in their pocket. One game, one 25-17. Trail 21-19 here. Schrader, the serve. Barhorst, the swing from Mesher, up high and down hard. Throws the lead back to three, and they're three points away from winning the game. Victoria's had a nice second set, a block for a point, an ace, a kill. A guy who had the ace earlier serves. One more time. Schrader. Looking for high camp, nothing you can do about that. All right, Garrett, I got a question for you. There are 10 teams in the MAC, right? Yep. Seven of them were ranked in this week's volleyball poll. Yep. And there are seven teams in the SCAL? Yes. And three of them were ranked in the poll this week. Is volleyball pretty good at this, this part of the state? You could argue. You could make yeah. that argument if you wanted to. How about that? Dan Meyer just over the top of the net. Slide to measure. Just getting it over. Schrader looking for high camp one more time. Returned as Schrader looks for the touch. It was yep, touched. Got a the touch. official on the far side yep. says it was tipped. R2 Andre Howard says, I got the touch. Not sure who took the swing, if it was Olivia Dammeyer or not. I, I think it was uh, Amelia, because she's now back in the serving position. Okay, but again, right. we had our the official blocking our view of who actually made contact. I think it was her. 22-21. So Cardinals just push it long. Oh. 
looking to tie it up. Tough time to miss a serve long. Missed four serves now in each set, total of eight. I'm told there are seven times you can't miss a serve. Yeah, that's what that's what Chris Luthold said. And when you start counting them up, there's about 40. But. <laughs> the tip over by Whoa, what a play! Returned by Brandoway. Schrader back sets Dan Meyer off the block. And a joust of the net won yeah. by Olivia Heidkamp. Just a bit of an overpass, doing all she could to keep the ball in play. But it was a bit of an overpass, and there was Heidkamp for her 11th kill of the match. Still a one-point game here in the closing stages of set number two. And the discipline to wait till the ball was in the net, uh, above the height of the net, to get to it so she didn't get it early. Miscommunication by Fort Lormy. Rolled it over. Schrader to Rindler. Miss hits it. And it's set point for Fort Lormy. And Mary's had a really good match today, and she just uh, mistimed that one. Cardinal Faithful trying to rally their troops. Mesher's got an ace today. Received by Heitkamp. Schrader, cross-court pass to Heitkamp, off the block, popped high in the air. Barhorse tries to tip it over, Heitkamp blocks it, but Fort Laramie somehow returns. Schrader, quick set, Rindler to the wood. Mary didn't miss that one, did she? Back to a one-point game. Now here's Olivia Heitkamp, who can also serve, but then hit out of the back row from behind the 10-foot line, too. Let's see if they how they choose to use her. Second set point for Redskins. Barhorst, the slide. Albers dug out by Heitkamp. Schrader looking for Baker, dug out by Brandwee. The pass. Point will take a run and swing at it. Pushed it wide, and we're knotted up at 24 on the Reese Meyer and Company scoreboard. Timeout taken by Fort Laramie. We'll keep it here. All square at 24. As New Bremen has fought back here in this second set, trailing by as many as five. You know, Garrett, it hasn't been one of those six or eight point or, or you know, run type yeah. things. It's been a couple here and a couple there. It's just been such a closely contested match. You know, Avery Brandwee came in today with 137 digs, and she just does so much for this team. She just made two wonderful plays on the last two points, but they point to eventually go to New Bremen, and, well, they got to let a couple of set points get away from them. So we're playing at least one point extra. You know what we need to do? We need to get uh, Garrett, or not Garrett, but uh, Hot Dog upstairs to video these girls who play between the, the quarter I'll tell breaks. You what, they got... They've got quite the setup here at <laughs> New Bremen that they got a system in place to make sure we don't wait around for somebody uh, to get a volleyball. These young very ladies, uh, middle they're school kids, in, elementary are. kids, whatever they are, they're really talented. The world's program's in such right. good shape. Hike campus serve. Makes it set point for Fort Lorman. Good timeout for Coach Rogers. And now Barhorst will serve and then set from the back row. 25-24. Frilling just came in, too, and she's been a force in this set. Yes, sir. Redskins looking to close it out. Good Got serve. Just over the top of the tape. Schrader to Heitkamp. Have to settle for getting it over. Barhorst. Albers to the wood. And Loramie takes set number two. Each squad has one apiece. We'll play at least four today. Here at New Bremen, we'll step aside and come back with third set action for you coming up on WOSN. Set number three getting underway as Avery Brandaway serves it away for Fort Lormy. Each side with one set of piece in her hand, and New Raymond gets the first point on the kill from Ava Trentman. 26 kills, four aces for New Bremen so far. They've missed nine serves. 19 kills, two aces. They have missed five serve, had the Redskins in two sets. Marhorse tips it over on the long return. Cardinals just roll it over. Point takes the cut, blocked by Trentman. And she's got the first two points of the third set for New Bremen. Good timing, blocking, and obviously to keep it in play. Melina Schrader serves. Into the back row. Barhorst, Mesher took a hearty cut at it, but blocked by Trentman one more time. Point off the block and down. 
Summer Hoying becomes a double-figure person in kills now with 10. Olivia Heitkamp is the leader in today's match with 11. Measure to serve. Left and long. One of the things I thought was interesting in that set, Garrett and Bremen fought back to get it 24 all. And then the next two points went yep. to Fort Laramie. And after kind of, I wouldn't say squandering a lead, but they uh, they were up. And then to see that rally take place. And you just expend that energy yep. clawing back. Nearly an ace. Kept alive by the Redskins. Stoddinger, the pass to Schrader. Looking for Heitkamp on the outside for an easy kill. And after losing set two, New Bremen comes out making a statement here in set three. Dan Meyer pushed it. Tenth miss serve. Haven't really seen the payoff of that risk reward yeah, just so four. far. Yep. Now they put him on her heels a little bit. Schrader the back set to Trentman off the block and down. Hoying got a lot of it, didn't get enough of it. And another kill for Ava Tremon here in set number yeah. three. It's a three-point advantage for the Cardinals at 5-2 on a Reese Meyer and Company scoreboard. Stunning with a little barrow. Punches it away. Hoying avoids the block and down for the kill. Got two of their three points here. Such a talented senior and now gets to serve. Great serve. Swung on yeah. by Ellen Frilling and another point for Fort Laramie. She took, the lead of one. She took the overpass and got her fourth kill. Taking advantage of an opportunity and didn't waste it. Received by Heitkamp. Back another overpass. Yeah. Frilly takes a hearty cut at it for another point. Ellen Frilling is tied it at five. Her eyes light up when that ball is uh, not handled correctly on the defensive side. It pops over to her side of the net. She's taking advantage of it. Hot camp serving now for New Bremen. More than four kills a set. Barhorse looks for Brandewee. Got it over the top of the block. Popped in the air by Dan Meyer off the basketball hoop. Dan Meyer blocked at the net. Schrader will set up Olivia Dan Meyer one more time. And the Redskins going the wrong way, but they'll roll it over. Schrader takes a cut wide. The point. Long, long set, Garrett, from the back row, and then she missed the sideline. All knotted up at six here in set number three. Got this one in at least set number four upcoming. Albers the serve. Great running swing for Mary Rindler. And the sophomore. Mary's got seven kills now. Playing well. Bremen's just got so many weapons with Heitkamp and Rindler and Trentman. Molina Schrader herself is a weapon. The Dan Myers. Similarly for Fort Loramie as Victoria Mesher gets a point right there. Redskins have Summer Owing and Victoria Mesher and Brandaway and Albers and Frilling. Yeah. A lot of really good And you've got two players. setters that know how to spread it around. You know, it's like that quarterback who's got four wideouts and he can pick whichever one he wants to go to, and that's what these people are able to do here. Another serve by Geyer. Schrader. Wow, she saved one. Rindler. Tips it over. And a kill for Brandaway. Her sixth. Lynn yeah, Schrader made a tremendous save on the ball without getting into the net, but the point went to Fort Laramie. 8 7 to score. Schrader back sets Randler off the block and down. Run that play several times today. We got a chunk of it. There's Trentman back in. Oh, 
Sarah Dlanger serving. Knuckleball. The back sent to Mesher. Got Get it in. They'll say, New Bremen immediately says it's out. I thought the line judge called it in. It. Let's see what the discussion is. Line judge called it in. A conference between our designated officials. You know what, Garrett? Heck, it's going to go to Fort Laramie. I missed who got the kill that time. I think it was Mesh. Okay, we'll go with that one. Thank you. She's got the very distinctive paddle. She yeah. just swings the hammer <laughs> when she I goes to drop it. I don't think I've seen anything cold and cruel yet today, Garrett. Let's play this point out. <laughs> Schrader, the pass to Trentman. Let her just a little bit too much. Yeah, I've got a score sheet full of, of K's for kills. Yep. Kind of looks like a Cincinnati Reds roster lineup today. <laughs> not, not, not what you want to see no. at this point in the season. For baseball teams, no. Ran away. Ace. The ace. 11 8 the score. Fort Laramie's grown this lead here in set number three. Second ace for her today. Randaway punches it away one more time. Just over the top of the net. Schrader looking for Dan Meyer. Kept alive by Fort Lormy. Point another hardy cut as Schrader pops it up for Dan Meyer off of locking down. Barhorse climbed the ladder, yep. got her fingers on it. It rolls off the side for the point. Amelia Dan Meyer with six kills now as Melina Schrader serves. Raider leads and aces for New Bremen. Yeah. Talent's another one there. That's why. I'm not sure I know, uh, Garrett, and uh, maybe our top camera can show this better, of a server who gets closer to the end line than Melina Schrader does when she contacts no. the ball. She is really on top of that line when she contacts. That time she's a little deeper, but sometimes she is just right on top of the line. Masher the block. Schrader. Yep. Get a better contact. One of the few ball handling mistakes yes, that, she that she has she made today. Very, very rare yep. ball handling mistake. Those young ladies, those setters, handle the ball you know, basically every possession, or nearly yeah. so. And to make as few errors as they do. Ace. Wow. Mesher throws the lead to three. Her second ace of today. Just a junior is Victoria Mesher. Little backspin on the serve as Schrader has to drop to the floor to get it. Hike Camp hits the top of the net. Redskins chasing, and they'll punch it over by Summer Hoing. Schrader, the set, tipped over easy and down for Hike Camp. Just found an open spot yeah. on the floor. Great vision to see where the open spot of the floor was, and then find Wood with that tip right there. Neely Dambeyer serves. Barhorst, the back set and kill by Albers. No, they'll say she's. Yeah, missed the sideline. Just missed it. Yep. Another serve by Dambeyer, looking to tie it up at 13, pushed it along. Another service error by New Bremen today. Uh, 11, I think, That's the unofficial count that I have. Let's get it back, come on. Barhorse serves now. Schrader looking for Olivia Van Meyer, but it's blocked by Albers for the point. The lead has grown back to three for the black and red. Skyler has a block for a point in each set today for three total. Each side with one game apiece in their back pockets. As Schrader looks for Trentman, blocking down. That one went to Summer Hoing. Sixteen twelve, the number two ranked Redskins with a four point lead over the number one ranked Cardinals. Control the net has gone the way of the Redskins in this set. Schrader, the pass to Heitkamp. Another blocking yep. point, Ellen Frilling. Closes the window. Timeout taken by New Bremen. They trail by five. 
Gorman with all the momentum here in set number three on WOSN. Today's school board sponsor, Reese Meyer and Company CPAs, helping small businesses navigate their financial futures. Reese Meyer and Company scoreboard says 17-12. Fort Loramie with the lead over New Bremen. A lot of that coming for blocks for points on the last three. Jenna Barnes Got it in. tucks it inside the line. Oh. Cardinals thought it was going along. It just dropped to the floor. Jenna's 22nd ace of the year first of today. She'll keep serving with a six-point lead. Schrader. I can't. Left touch, it wide. Touch. No, no nope. touches yet. No, nope. didn't get it. So it's a seven-point lead now as Fort Lormy scores the first two out of the timeout. Another serve by Barhorst. I can't block, and that one falls out wide. They wanted to go to high camp coming out of the timeout. First possession was the ace, and then the uh, high camp hit the went sideways, but that was a point for him. Stoning the knuckleball serve. Barhorse has to get under it. Hoying blocked, kept alive by Grillio. Hoying one more time. Dug out by Stoninger. Joust at the net, tipped up by Hoying, pushed over by Dan Meyer. Barhorse to Frilling, off of Steininger That's in the rafters. It's coming back. <laughs> that bounced around two or yeah. three times in the rafters, and the Cardinals get it over. Barhorse to Hoying, blocked. Grillio, one more dig. Frilling from the far side, off the block, and down for the Fort Lormy point. What a point that was. First of all, from the play out of the rafters, that it was going to be a Fort Lormy point to begin with, so I got to start rattling around up there, and then the concentration to get the ball to Frilling and get her sixth kill. 2013. Yep. Double contact. Frida was on the run that time, Garrett, and couldn't get her feet set. It's 21-13, an eight-point advantage here at set number three for Fort Lormy. On a 4-1 run out of the timeout. Tipped over by Brand by Albers. High camp. Pushed it wide. This has not been a good set of serve receive for New Bremen. They've had several balls that have been passed long and, and some that Schrader hasn't been able to handle. There's another timeout. It's a nine-point lead for Fort Larming. 22-13 on the Reese Meyer and Company scoreboard. And you're right, those first pass is so key. It that really is. New yep. Raymond hasn't been perfect here in this third set. The Redskins have served exceptionally well in the set. They have three aces, but more than that, they put uh, New Bremen in difficult positions and then overpasses have occurred or they haven't been able to get the ball to the setter and get into their offense. So where do you go Friday night, Garrett? What's your football game this week? I have... Ottawa Glendor versus Van Wert. This Van Wert. Okay. That's uh, over at uh, the at, new stadium. The, well, yep, the, the new old, the new, new old Edgar Stadium. The old new. I don't know what the. Yeah. That's a multi-year renovation project at yes. Edgar Stadium, isn't it? They in, they put in the work. They then yep. they you know consulted the community and said, what do you uh, what do you want uh, this stadium to look like? Do you want a new stadium at the high school? You want us to renovate this one? And they said we want to defend the wall and play at Edgar Stadium. 22-13 on the swing from Fort Lorming. I can't take some off of it. Barhorse, the quick set to Albers, and a big kill. The 5'9 senior sends it straight to the hardwood, and it's a 10-point advantage with two to go for Lorming. How about this for a, a, a guess? It won't be as good a football game as we had last night with no, Marion Local and, and Versailles. Probably not. That's a, that's a once-a-season type game. What do we got? Somebody's rotation, out of alignment. Rotation error. Yeah. Wow. And now that brings up set point at 24-13. Immediate whistle blow. So one more from Hoing pushed it long. And on that 
alignment area, you've got to be inside yeah. the farthest outside or front of if you don't get it just right. Overlap is the word, Garrett. Yeah, uh, a little easier <laughs> explanation than what I gave you. Bar Horst. Randley to kill in the set to Fort Warren where they lead two wow. sets to one with a 25-14 victory. Outscoring New Bremen eight to two down the stretch here in set number three. We'll go to the fourth set. Warmy looking to close out New Bremen when we return on WOSN. Set four about to get underway here between the number two ranked four Warming Redskins and the number one ranked New Bremen Cardinals. I'm Garrett Seal. I'm joined alongside Mark Shine. And when you take a look at the third set, Mark, oh boy. Uh, what, what stands out for you? Well, first of all, the uh, Fort Lauderdale Redskins had four aces and they missed just three serves in that set. And then they had 10 kills and only seven kills for the uh, New Bremen Cardinals, and New Bremen only had, uh, what, one ace in the set. So uh, this was a set that was just dominated by the Redskins, but not that point. The first point of set number four goes Ooh. to the Cardinals on the ace from Molina Schrader. Her fifth of today. I thought the real key in set three was serve received by New Bremen. Overpass. But Damar trying to climb the ladder and send it straight to the wood. Instead, it's off of her fingertips to even at a one. <laughs> Avery Brandaway, seven kills, two assists, a lot of digs today. Is it all for the Redskins? Is Schrader the pass to Heitkamp off the block, kept alive by Grillo. Should have said seven, eight, uh, two aces. Coyne avoids the block, tallies the point. Looks like we'll get to Candy Kane reconfigured. And we've, we've got official explanation on the angle. So it needs to yeah. be at a 90 degree angle with the center court stripe. There you go. And then straight up and down from the sideline. So we've got the mathematicians out today. So we are, we were both corrected at 90 degree and 180 degree. As I can't take some, some off of it to even it at two. One of the ways you can tell that the passing wasn't as crisp for New Bremen in set three is that Olivia Heitkamp only had two kills. Yeah. She didn't have many opportunities like she had right there. She had 16 kills for the day so far. And uh, two in 14 set three. right now. Yeah, 14 right now. Block kept alive by Grillo. Point another hardy cut. And another kill. She's up to 13 kills now today. She had 178 in their 45 sets that they played before today. Mesher, the knuckleball serve. Schrader looks for high camp. Dug out by Brandewey. Another swing by Hoy. Steiner the dig. Schrader, the pass to high camp. Just pushed it wide. Thought she saw a spot on the floor, did, but put a little too much on it. She went right to Melina Schrader and appreciated the set. I just missed it. Mesher will serve again. Mesher and Frilling have been really solid players today. Schrader looks to set up high camp. Took some off there of she it. Saw it. The same spot yep. that she tried the last point. Just fingertips it over. 158 kills in 43 sets before today, and that's Olivia's 15th. Stoninger will serve. Barhorse tips it over. Stoninger's there. Schrader. Height camp. Took some off of it. Barhorse, a cross court pass to Hoying. A big up high and down hard kill for Summer Hoying. Really nice pass from Barhorse to get her 14th kill. The lead is two on the Reese Meyer and Company scoreboard. Now here's Jenna to serve. Junior setter. Averaging more than 10 assists a set. Schrader, quick sets Mary Rindler for the kill. Oh, another hearty spike for Rindler. It's been a nice day for her. Yes, it is. That would be her ninth kill. It's been a really good uh, second weapon to go along with uh, Heitkamp. 
as Olivia serves. In the back row. Hoying takes some off of it, but it's blocked Schrader. by Schrader. It's like uh, on my unofficial page, that's her third block for a point today. Don't expect that from the setter and from somebody from, from most schools you don't. That's correct. Probably five foot five, maybe. A swing from Owen, just wide. Heidkamp stumbled coming up she did. after the serve, and she gave out a ow, and then was more of a, my oh gosh, I hope nobody saw that. Had a Wilson. smile on her face, so I think she's okay. And just put a pretty good serve on right there. Hoing. Palms it over. Tipped over and down by Molina Schrader. There's your setter with a kill. Be her third of today. Olivia Heitkamp will wipe the spot on the floor where she stumbled. Molina Schrader had 61 kills in 43 sets before today. A lot of hitters would like to have that, <laughs> right. not, not just setters. She's a very valuable weapon multiple ways for her team. So it's now 7-5. New Bremen with the advantage as Heitkamp serves again. Tucks it down this near sideline. Barhorst, the slide to Frilling. Blocked for the point. Is that Dan Meyer? I think so. Yeah, I think it was. That was uh, Olivia, I think. So Olivia Heitkamp continues to serve the future Toledo Rocket. on that one. You know, Mark, we're getting down to the nitty-gritty here. Of, there are a lot yeah. of options for Midwest Athletic Conference player of oh, the my year. Goodness. I don't know how uh, the coaches uh, choose yeah. uh, just one. It's Olivia Heitkamp certainly in a discussion. Ace. An ace for Fort Laramie. Spencer Etzler at Coldwater. Chloe Gells at St. Henry. There are a lot. They're a four-way tie at the top of the map right now. Some great volleyball players in the Midwest Athletic Conference in the Shelby County League, too, as Rindler's tip. And then Albers takes a hardy cut at it to knot us up at eight. Skyler says, thank you very much. Everybody was kind of caught a little bit by surprise. The ball all of a sudden is in right in her wheelhouse, and she put that one away. Just an all-around good player of Skyler Albers. And you get that every maybe once a set or so where the ball's just hanging there like a speed bag in a boxing gym and somebody can take just a hardy cut at it as that serve just over the top of the tape. Dan Meyer rolls it over. Barhorse chases it down. Brandewick takes some off of it off the side and down for the point. Avery's eighth kill today. That came off the side of her hand and yeah. was a perfectly placed ball. The block was set up right in front of her. She goes sideways, and it's a one-point lead. Nanmeyer blocked at the net by Ellen Frilling. Grow the lead to two for the red flag. Ellen's second block for a point, and we're going to get a timeout. We'll step aside as well. We've got a break in the action here, and a break on WOSN. Out of the timeout, Fort Laramie with a two-point lead on the Reese Meyer and Company scoreboard, continuing to serve. Really resilient are the Redskins. You know, they got down early in this set, and they just clawed their way back in it. Schrader, the back set for Mary Rindler, but it's blocked by Brandewee. Rolled over. Frilling punches it over for Fort Laramie. Schrader tracks the volleyball down. Tipped over by Dan Meyer, popped up in the air one more time by Barhorst. From behind a 10-foot line, Horn off the block of Rindler and down. That was a really nice set by the libero. We haven't talked a lot about Haley Grillo today, but she set that ball perfectly from behind the 10-foot line. Our school's now using that uh, libero as their second setter. She did that very well. And Libby and Dammeyer serving. Just over that top of the tape, set up for well, Albers, got. and they got a Cardinal in that. He signaled Mary Rindler. <laughs> it's a 
three-point lead one more in time for Fort Loramie, the number two ranked team in the state of Division IV. New Bremen, the number one. Heitkamp, the receive, joust at the net, kept alive. Barhorst looks for Brandewey, blocked, and down for the point for Fort Loramie. The Redskins grow the lead to four. Set one, 25-17. 26-24, set number two for Fort Lorme is a kill by Rimmer. Mary becomes a double-figure kill person today on the back set. She's got 10. Much needed by her team. The lead was starting to get away from them. 25-14, set number three went to Fort Lorme. The Redskins have a three-point lead here, but Sarah Dwenger goes to serve. Fort Bremen. Barhorse, the back set to Frilling, pushed it just long. Redskins say yeah, they touched. want they want a touch. And they didn't get the call. One of the ways you could tell, Garrett, is that if the ball changes angles. I didn't think it did. That does that's not the sole determinant, right. but uh, certainly helps. Yeah. Barhorst, Brandewey, long and wide. And they missed two kills. And just like that. The lead's down to one. And Raymond Faithful starting to make a little bit more noise. Sarah Dwenger's been a positive server today for New Raymond. Barhorst looks for Frilling, blocked, and the kill. Mesher got under it, but couldn't get out of the way of it. And now that we're all down at 13, Lorman wants to talk about it. He'll step aside as well here in set number four on WOSN. Center nonprofit organization supported by viewers like you. Now's a great time to make a donation in any size as a way to say thank you for this sports broadcast. Go to WTLW.com and click donate here. Donations are accepted 24 hours a day. Just visit WTLW.com. On a swing from Mesher. New Bremen returns. Dan Meyer tips it over and down to give New Bremen a one-point advantage. Amelia had uh, five kills in the first two sets, but only two since then. That was a key one to put her team up. Dwanger continues to serve. 10-8 at one point. Now 14-13, 10-8. Fort Loramie lead at that point. Schrader takes a cut at it, blocked by Mesher and down. All square at 14. Trying to think about how dominant was Fort Army was in set three. They did not call a timeout in set three. Yeah. Now they have in the other two, three sets, but uh, did not have to call a timeout in set three. <laughs> Tenth Lee goes to Bremen. Tenth missed serve for Fort Army here today. The Bremen has missed 12. Schrader to serve. Got five aces. Barhorst, Mesher, tried to send it straight to the wood. Stoninger's there. Heitkamp, pushed it wide. She had an open spot, but uh, on one hop to Coach Rogers. So, jockeying back and forth. Now 15 all on the Reese Meyer and Company scoreboard. We trade points. Ooh. Nearly a miscommunication yeah. there by New Bremen. And Mesher saw the ball just hanging wow. there. Took a cut at it, but got the bottom of the hand. Miscommunication, and then Olivia Dammeyer got it over, but it was in a great spot for Fort Army to put it away and just missed. 16-15 as Amelia Dammeyer serves. Mesher, the swing, popped up by Stoninger. Centering pass. Trentman gets it over. Barhorst looks for Hoying. Off of the center for Arnie Bremen and down. And we're all tied up at 16. 16 kills for Summer. She's taken the lead in the match today. Olivia Heitkamp still with 15. Mesher serving now. The junior. Good day for Victoria. Schrader looking for Heitkamp. Dung out by Brandewey. Point punches it over. And it's wide. Oh, 
Redskins faithful thought it was on a line. Yeah, she was a little perturbed with herself. She tried to get a little too fine with it. She had a bigger space to put the ball in than she thought and just missed the sideline then. Steininger looking to grow the lead for New Bremen. Knuckle balled, pushed it along. So we have alternated points. 17-17. Good serve. Rindler got it inside the line on the slide. Makes it 18-17. The play has worked very well for them today. She comes behind the setter and puts the ball away. Uses it going cross court. High camp got it just over the top of the tape. Blocked at the net. Kept alive by Albers. Barhorst. Hoing blocked. Stalemated, but. Schrader is blocked, and for the 10th time in this set, we are tied, this time at 18. What seems like the 10th time they blocked for a point, too. <laughs> they have really blocked extremely well today, have the Fort Lauderdale Redskins. Point serving. Knuckleball into the back row. Schrader. And a miss hit. Gives Fort Laurie the lead at 19-18 on the Reese Meyer and Company score. Tried to get too fine with that one and got it outside the antenna. Schrader finds a oh. spot and puts it in the perfect place. Caught Fort Laurie napping with the eyes in the back of her head. <laughs> it's really pretty. Just nobody, and there's really nobody ever in that <laughs> corner that just the perfect placement by the junior. And now Olivia Dammeyer serves. Brandewi took some yeah. off of it. Gave New Bremen a taste of their own medicine. Now she's got 10 kills. <laughs> 2019, Fort Lorme the lead. Looking to close out New Bremen. Nearly got it rolled over in Skyler Albers. That's one of those inches play, Gareth. That's yep. an inch higher, hits the tape, and just drops on the side yep. of the net for, for an ace. Instead, it comes back at you. One of those you get in your home gym, but not on the road. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's exactly right. 2020 is Dwanger. Serves. <laughs> Alternate service errors. Did you, did you hear Coach Rogers yell across the floor? Play to win. You know, let's win this right. point. Let's don't get do defensive. Right, do let's right let's play to win. And we'll trade service errors. We're knotted up at 21. The Bremen trying to get this to a fifth set. Fort Army trying to close it out in four. Schrader, the serve. Received by Luca. Brandaway. Top back up by Schrader. Steininger, the pass to Heitkamp, off the block, kept alive by the Redskins. Brandwee, the swing. As Schrader, cross-court pass. Dammeyer off the block and down. 22-21, and a timeout taken by Fort Lauderdale. We'll step aside as well, come back with more four-set action coming up on WOSN. To that scoreboard sponsor, Reef Meyer and Company CPAs helping small businesses navigate their financial futures. It's 22-21. New Bremen the lead here in set number four. They've got to get to 25 first to force a set number five. There's Melina Schrader, the leader in aces for the Cardinals. Behind the line, ready to serve. Backspin on the serve. Bar horse to Brandewi. Kept the line by Steininger on the dig. Schrader the pass. And it went wide to the candy cane to tie to 22. Coach Rogers is now out of timeouts. Coach Kramer has one remaining. Sir from Brandewi. All square at 22. Tight can't just rolls it over. Schrader ran a long way for that one. Off the block. 
Schrader tried to return, pushed wide, and it's 23-22, Fort Laramie. Six kills in the set, Summer Hoying, 17 in the match. Brandoe to serve. Height camp off the top of the block. Barhorst, Hoying, dug out by Dan Meyer. And Besser puts it straight to the floor oh. to bring up match point. Did Victoria understand the importance of that play? Here's your new Bremen timeout. No, I don't thought, like, yep. I thought Coach called it. She did not. So match point for Fort Lormy. Dan Meyer the pass. High camp rolls it over. Barhorst, Poing, long, well long. Makes it 24-23. You know, in a non-league match, sometimes coaches just say, you figure it out. You know? Yeah. And it's a non-league match, and let's see what you do when you're, when you're challenged down two. Amelia Nanmeyer the serve in the middle of the floor. Barhorst a did a great job. Mesher pushes it over. Schrader, height camp. Yeah. Up high and down hard and tied at 24. And responded, did they, to get it tied at 24. Playing at least one extra point. Of course, the scoreboard says there are no timeouts left. Did I miss one? I don't think so. Okay. Amir the serve. Barhorst. Hoing. Got it in the net. Wow. And now it's set point for New Bremen, looking to force a pivotal set number five. Fort Larmer was looking at two set points, couldn't get there. Here's New Bremen's chance. Amelia Dammeyer, the senior. Sends it away. Barhorst, looking for Hoyne. Blocked, kept alive by the Redskins. Hoyne one more time, took some off of it. Dammeyer leaping and diving. Wow. And it's still alive by New Bremen. All three hits by a Dammeyer. Barhorst, Mesher off the block, wide, the point. Fort Lormy knotted up at 25. Fort Lormy survives a set point, tied at 25. Victoria Mesher to serve. Schrader got under it. Height camp the swing. Dug out by Brandewey. Pulling the block down, and it's back to match point for Fort Loramie. Twenty-six, twenty-five. The second set today to go to extras. As Mesher serves for the win. Good serve. Schrader, pass to Height Camp, block down, and we're tied at twenty-six. Block went into the antenna. And so, Coach Kramer says, I'll fix for, the antenna. For the second time, and three <laughs> points, Diana comes over and makes sure that everything's square. Olivia Heitkamp and Summer Hoying, each with 17 kills. Stonier, the serve. Sidewinder, bar horse on a great pass. Hoying, dug out by Stonier, high in the air. Schrader, the pop to Heitkamp. Brandoe to dig. Hoying, the cut. Stonier, another dig. As Schrader, cross-court pass to Heitkamp, took some off of it, kept the line by the Redskins. Really good reaction by Barhorst. Brandoe, Stoninger's there one more yes. time. Schrader tries to dump it into campfire. Albers. And Albers sends it straight to the floor to bring up match point one more time. Skyler Albers with two huge plays. The lat one got him a point. A wow. Back and forth, set number four. And for the third time, Fort Laramie, has match point. Barhorst, and the ace. ace to win it. Jenna Barhorst drops it to the wood in the perfect spot to win set number four, 28-26, and grab a four-set thriller over the New Bremen Cardinals. How about that? Summer Hoying, 17 kills on the day. Avery Brandway had 10. Tremendous play by them. Jenna Barhorst did a wonderful job as a setter. The all-around play of Skyler Albers. Congratulations to Fort Laramie. 17 kills for the New Bremen Cardinals, chalked up by Olivia Heitkamp. 11 for Mary Rindler.
They, they had a really good all-around day from the, the two Dan Meyer sisters and then Melina Schrader, but winning all the big points in set two, three and in set four, actually in set two, which was a 26-24, yep. and then set four, which is 28-26. Congratulations to the Fort Romney Redskins. New Bremen won set one, 25-17. Laurie wins the next three, 26-24, 25-14, and 28-26 in a thriller between two very good volleyball teams. Oh, absolutely. These are two teams that are going to go a long, long way in the tournament. They're both in Division Four. What an interesting matchup we're going to have for those two seasons. And watch the Fort Romney Lady Redskins celebrate. Congratulations to you. So the red and black win in four sets today on the road against the new Bremen Cardinals. That'll do it from us here at New Bremen High School for our spectacular WLSN crew and Mark Shine. I'm Garrett Seawright saying so long, and we'll catch you next time right here on WLSN.